Dr. Sarah Biachika and um, the Commissioner for Planning, Financing and Policy at the Ministry of Health in Uganda. So when the DHIS2 was introduced in 2011, that was a big uh, jump for us in terms of digitizing the HMIS. We have now uh, disaggregated data and some facilities actually now can directly enter their data into the DHIS2. So in the timeliness of reporting has significantly improved. Uh, every Monday actually when I look in my email I see a weekly malaria surveillance report and we are now doing maternal and perinatal death uh, reviews, the surveillance, you get the information more easily. Having financing based on results also is helping us to strengthen the DHIS because the data must be timely, it must be accurate and almost all facilities should be able to report. The DHIS is the end platform and we are looking at all these other systems that we are developing should actually be linked to the uh, DHIS2. And the electronic medical record system is right now one of the priorities that we are working on advancing because that will also help beyond the aggregate data that we have been collecting through the DHIS2 to, to go now to patient level data. We couldn't have reached this far without working as the government and also emphasizing on the one uh, M and E system as a country so that whoever wants to use the data uh, from Uganda statistics, DHIS2 is where to go. I think it is one of the things that is, has made us shine or be able to respond to health related emergencies. For example, we had the recent Ebola outbreak and we were able to quickly be able to trace through the information, the DHIS to an information system, especially the IDSR, to be able to quickly locate and also manage uh, the Ebola. The same applies to COVID. We've been able to work with various partners to, to be able to ensure that the DHIS is up and running. So I'll use this opportunity to appreciate all the partners we have worked with, both to support financially and technically, and that still takes his as one of the lead partners whom we appreciate. Thank you.